right, welcome to Versus the Game. I'm the Minion, um, and today I'm going to be playing Portal. So you may have noticed that Meow Jedi isn't uh, here with me, and that's because I'm recording this, uh, not sure if for my own channel, or if we're just going to release this as like a single uh, thing on our main channel. Um, we both have been planning on doing something for separate channels that way we can play separately sometimes uh, but we really enjoy playing together so uh, as of now we're gonna kind of just stick with that <clears throat> um, but today I'm gonna be playing portal I played before as you can see um, but I haven't beaten the game and so I'm just gonna go ahead and load up a new one um, unfortunately right now you're listening to kind of a voiceover from me uh, because the microphone didn't record properly or something happened when I was originally recording and so you still get the game audio you just didn't hear me <laughs> and so I'm gonna be posting both um, my gameplay with just the system audio um, and here it's even giving me instructions for the keyboard, but I'm using a controller, Hello, so... and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all Enrichment Center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from... Right, for favor, for Turn back. The portal will open in 3, 2, 1. Okay, and so we begin the first portal opening. Um, I'm kind of getting used to the controls right now because... As you saw, they gave me the keyboard controls, and I have no idea what I'm doing. It's been a while since I played it, so once I get back used to what I'm doing, I'll uh, actually be able to do what I'm supposed to. Sure, let's play with the toilet, why not? I think I was trying to make it flush or something. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I was still messing with the controls because um, I do experience a little bit of uh, slowdown and lag for a game that's not online. But that's what we have to deal with with old games. I'm trying to remember where I'm supposed to put this radio to try and do that achievement but I've been told that I need to actually beat the game first uh, in order to unlock that one so I'm not quite sure but as far as I've been told it's on top of that switch from I mean even what I remember but I don't think I ever actually got this achievement. I get the ones with the cameras because it's pretty easy. Um, but here I am still just fiddling around with the radio and trying to figure out. I don't even know if I knew I could drop it. Like, I think I'm just trying to like stand it up. And I'm like, yeah, and then nothing. So, Excellent. Screw it. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material prevents a patient grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. I kind of just stop moving and start paying attention to what she's saying especially in this first one where I'm still messing with a stupid radio 
Yeah. I don't know. I think I still tried it, but I don't know. And I just fiddle with it for a minute and yeah, I can't get hell with it. I'll probably do another video where I actually do get that achievement though. So but that one I'll just cut from where you're supposed to put the radios, I guess. Because I've already recorded my playthrough on this and I'll let you just guys just see where I try to get the achievement. I think I actually do pretty well in this one. There's only a couple spots where I kind of space out on what I'm doing and um yeah usually I die a lot in this but it did pretty good. Um, I don't even know where my first death is on this one and it wasn't too bad. I didn't experience as much slowdown or lag as I thought I would. Um, I still get quite a bit but it's nowhere near as bad as when I first tried to play it on my old computer and I kind of actually had to just deal with it would lag a lot. <clears throat> Not too much to make it completely unplayable, but enough to be annoying. Here it's only slightly annoying, and I can't... I don't know. There's some parts where it's just terrible. I think here I'm trying to find, like, to see if I see another radio, because I know there's a radio somewhere in this one that you can do for the radio achievement. And I think I finally come to the conclusion if I didn't do the first one, I probably can't do the second one anyway. Yes, we're in chamber one. Come on, let's get going. Uh, it's funny to watch myself play games afterwards and to think about, like, what was I thinking there? Because a lot of times I'm like, why did the thing's right there? Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. And then some of the commentary from the computer actually makes is like the most hilarious, I think, in a game. <clears throat> we'll probably do Portal 2 after this one. Let's see. Well, I think there I was trying to break the camera, but I don't think you can do it till like the third um, room. That was weird that there's like no gun or anything there, and that's what's switching. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. And I like too how the when the game starts out, you're kind of just. Okay, just weird things are happening and I can go through these portals. Um, and I like how everything just kind of unfolds in this. I think the story in this is actually really well done for the fact that a majority of the time you have no idea what the hell is going on. Yeah, and I still get loading screens. No matter how old my computer is. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Uh, that's freaky. Damn it. I should have gone through it before it closed. Uh, hopefully it shoots. Okay. Uh, mm. Damn it. 
I think it was facing the other way. I think the radio was supposed to be over there, but since I didn't do the first one or the second one, it's kind of fun. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... It's funny how she gives you, like, random information. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. And I destroyed all three cameras in this room. Yeah, I've done that every single time I've ever played this. Uh, so, yeah, I'll eventually go back and do the uh, other achievement for the radios. Because uh, I think I do have to have beaten it once. I don't know if that's just when I went back and looked at it. Is that I already beaten it? Or... Mind the gap. Okay, all right, let's uh, get across first, and then we'll destroy the camera. For your own safety, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. Seems like I need to go over there anyway. Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. Sometimes I don't know if they're meant to be creepy or just funny, but sometimes they're both. I like is the whole bring your daughter to work day, why your character's there, or I don't know. And more loading. Man, that was a long load. That's how games were back in the day. Welcome to Test Chamber 4. You're doing quite well. Magid says I have an old man mentality. Always say like, well, these kids today won't understand like loading screens and no saves and no checkpoints and having to get so many lives and whatever. So she makes fun of me because I say, well, these kids today don't never understand long load screens. Slow down. Yeah, see, I think I'm getting some slowdown, but... I don't know. It doesn't seem as annoying, I guess, because I grew up in the time when... ...games don't work. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. I don't know why I bothered going to see what room I'm in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what room I'm in in the next room. I don't know why I had to go all the way back to the side. And I think that's what I was talking about as I walked back to the elevator. The first time. It just sucks that the audio keeps getting lost on a lot of videos. Like, either or the something happens and something didn't record. Uh, luckily when I went back to check the footage for this yeah see room 5 um, the audio for the game was still there. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Uh, unfortunately everything from the mic was dumped. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Okay it should be the third camera. And so I just kind of wanted to come back and do some recording of 
what I was talking about. So hopefully you guys like it. I don't talk very much while I'm playing, so it's probably a good thing um, anyways for me to be able to talk a little bit more about the game. And so the first time that I remember playing Portal was back in college. My roommate had gotten it and put it on his computer, and I used to use this computer a lot. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Yeah, so you probably saw my achievement camera shy pop up there, so I'm like a third of the way through it. And I knew how many uh, cameras were like in each of the rooms, and so it's just remembering where they're at. More loading. And I have the numbers written down for them, but I still have to remember where to go find them. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. Unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject phone call here. That's hilarious. I think this one actually does load between every single floor, or just about. Man, you can really hear the hum from that sign. I like the little pictures that they draw too, like, you should expect death if you do this. Put this in there. And the fact that they did it for every single room this is what amazes me. I'm surprised there wasn't any like elevator music or anything that they did for this game. But I guess with all the audio and stuff like that, like it's already so big that I don't think it would have fit. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the aperture science unstationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. And so here's one of the instances where I do something. That should be simple, but I just. Oh, dumbass. I don't know what I'm doing. It's like I should have been able to just get it right off the bat, and. I don't know. I think my dumbass didn't aim it right. I'm like, oh, let me just readjust it and stuff like that. It's just one of those, like, dumb mistakes. I'm usually focused on when I'm playing the game. Like, even now, I'm still watching myself go back and do this, and it's like, what the hell was I thinking? Why did I do this? Why did I do that? But of course, when you're doing it, it's like a completely different thing. You look at it and think, oh, I should have done this. And you're at the time, that was like too difficult. To think of at that time. And the endless fucking loading. God, these loading screens are unbearable. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record. Followed by death. Good luck. I've never understood that. I guess don't drink the water. Not that I would. Oh, 
Mm, I think that's lined up close enough. Yeah. I'm not sure how long any of these puzzles took me the first time that I played this game, but I know I got killed by that at least like two or three times. And the funny thing is, is you can see the sign right there. And I think that's exactly where I died, was on the sign. Sometimes I wish those things would go faster, but then... Yeah. But I'm sure I died a lot in this one. The first few times that I played it. So, I'm wondering how I was going to do. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. And, and if you probably noticed too, I stopped collecting camera or shooting cameras. That's because... I think for the past two or three rooms, there haven't been any. The enrichment center, fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Yeah, I think I accidentally pressed on the button when I was waiting to see what she said. And I was like, damn it. Then you just have the elevator to wait for, again. Because these things are like forever. Destroyed. Get that one a lot. Not so much as the please don't destroy. Their little diagrams are funny. I don't know, I think it's a little bit difficult too to like talk during a portal because there's just the sound on it is like so good of like Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum or to be more precise, how it does not. Like just her explanations of things and like You occasionally get this like creepy music. Momentum. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Well, I was gonna say there's probably about 20 elevators all in total, but I was like, I don't remember <laughs> going to that many elevators. I think when I finished the level, I would kind of tune out for a second, so it never really occurred to me that we're like, well, I'm assuming going up. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. 
In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Yeah, this one's such a simple puzzle too, and I don't know why I struggled with it. Uh, there we go, some slowdown. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Sometimes it's annoying, but I was like, alright, I can see it. And there's a button. It's the second time I'm like, that's not helping me. going I'll back out on here and I don't know how I managed but once you get the gun the button pops up like right behind it as part of an optional test protocol we are pleased to present an amusing fact the device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject Hong Kong, here. And so my dumbass is looking around because I didn't see the button when she was talking. I don't know how I managed to get distracted, but I just was not paying attention. Through no fault of the enrichment center, you have managed to trap yourself in this room. An escape hatch will open in three, two, one. Yeah, I don't understand that. And then even right there, I'm still looking. Like, there was a button over there. I don't see anything else. I think it took me a second to realize that there's a button because if I remember I go here and I go oh maybe there's a button back at the first place but if you look the lights kind of blinding so it makes it a little hard to see I don't see nothing I think it took me a second to like finally realize <sighs> The most annoying thing is always trying to go back and find your own freaking like, look, look, there it is, right there, you see it? Like, oh, it, it's the buttons right there. It's like, dumbass. <laughs> it's like, you just came from there. So, um, this is going to be, I guess, the outro music that I picked, because I wanted to kind of let it end and kind of just you know fade out I guess and so I just let the music take over until it ends um, so if you like watching me play and I will be posting both the ones with and without commentary because I obviously don't talk all that much um, but go ahead like subscribe I don't know what the other thing is hit the bell I don't know I'm a terrible youtuber or I'm terrible at explaining things and describing things. That's why I don't talk. Plus I'm gonna be playing games that are a little more story driven and stuff, so you'll get to hear more of the game. 
and then on the other ones I'll kind of talk a little bit more. Hope you enjoyed it. This has been Versus a Game. I'm the Minion. I'll see you next time.